And when you think about product managers and a more traditional approach to product management, you ask users their needs, you then list their needs, you then try the different kind of manifestations of that in engineering through the engineering system. How does one actually take that insight and make it practical? I think it starts with something very core. The uh, You don't just hire a product manager and have them develop an insight. There has to be some nagging problem that's uh, that's driving that person to spend and invest the time to figure this out. So it, how that product manager manifests a product insight into a solution is a function of building a company. Um, every startup is effectively a hypothesis, right? That's going to get proven or disproven, and the market has all the answers, and it's going to tell you whether it works or it doesn't work. So the process of the product insight is laying out um, what you believe is a hypothesis that's going to be true, but you might be proven false. Um, if the hypothesis is underpinning a startup, the startup is just a process to prove something in a, effectively an experiment that you believe in. Um, and it takes a lot of motivation and energy to you know, put your life on hold to go try to solve this problem. It's the reason why you shouldn't start a company uh, for financial motivation. That's really the byproduct of having created value and built something. So I think it gets back to the motivation behind the people and are they willing to um, focus on coming up with that insight, especially in the B2C company. Um, and then do they have the resources, capabilities, team, and everything else to surround that hypothesis with to then go execute to find out if that hypothesis is valid or not. So when, when, when you're hiring either a product-oriented founder or looking at a product-oriented founder or a product manager for a company that needs something, what are you looking for in them? Um, if I'm hiring a, a product head, I'm looking for a few things. I'm looking for <clears throat> the art and the science. The art is um, this undescribable um, obsession bordering on unhealthy, mm -hmm. <laughs> but not unhealthy, uh, where the person is compelled to solve this problem. Um, uh, Involved in that art is the ability to be to have a gravity well around this person to recruit additional talent, mm -hmm. oftentimes junior product talent, um, engineers, designers, a UX and visual design, um, and uh, the other <coughs> component of, of the art is that they have the uh, not just the gravitas but the chemistry to create a team um, that'll work night and day, which is what it takes typically to build a startup with high velocity, especially if it's venture funded. Um, to, uh, to, to break ground and then iterate very quickly. The science is a little bit different. The science is do they understand and have the discipline to do product, proper product management. Um, in the tech world that involves everything from um, understanding how to release product, how to manage sprints, how to run scrums in an agile methodology, um, paired programming when appropriate, um, how to handle QA with respect to build acceptance testing and functional testing and crowdsource testing understanding how the release in the app store works, how to prioritize features that contribute toward the underlying goals to prove the hypothesis around product market fit mm -hmm. in an early stage company, how do they prioritize those? If you add X feature versus Y feature, um, how are you measuring success? What analytics package do you have in there? Um, and, and does it deliver the value that you intended? That's a very analytically driven um, sort of left brain set of skills that you learn through apprenticeship. I almost think of product managers, product management as an apprenticeship role because you have to learn it by watching and experiencing it with someone else. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a very different set of skills, the, the art and the science, but if you can put them together, uh, you can have very talented people.